happier note. Imagine a day of pedicures, acupuncture, water therapy. We're not talking about your last spa experience. We're talking about a day in the life of some very pampered pooches. NBC 5's Ken Fisher is uncovering a new craze here in North Texas that's sure to make any dog drool. In South Lake, having a pampered pooch is the new in thing. I think that is a, definitely a new trend and taking care of your dog um, in a way that it's not just your tie up to a tree type of animal. And we're not just talking living indoors with a soft bed. It goes much, much further. From treats to massages, these dog owners say nothing's too much for their dog. We go to class three days a week. She gets her day of beauty about once a month. And Saturdays are field trip days. Lisa says her dog Fiona fills a void left by her football playing son. When college football ended, we kind of felt lost. We weren't the player's parents any longer. And we had kind of identity crisis. And Carol had a similar story with her dog Cassie. My son's gone. I have more time. You know, I'm not a room mother. I'm not, you know, going places with him and his commitments. And I have the time now to devote to her. So you have these moms that were great moms, very active in their kids' lives. And now it's like, now what? So we're seeing a lot of them are getting dogs, and those are becoming their new children. These dogs actually have set schedules, and they're not alone. The staff here at Three Dogs Bakery says women like these make up a large part of their customer base. You know, it's a pretty staggering 40, 45 percent of that of our uh, customers are empty nesters. But if you ask these ladies, the dogs aren't getting the benefits, they are. For me, maybe in a way it's selfish because it keeps me on schedule. In Southlake, Kim Fisher, NBC5.